Breast cancer is simultaneously the most frequently diagnosed cancer amongst women in uh, North America and Europe. It is the second most fatal cancer for women and it's actually the most prevalent cancer. There are over three million survivors with breast cancer in Canada and the US. The goal of this particular project is actually to develop an assay so that we can run a clinical trial of stratified medicine in breast cancer. The Oncomine Comprehensive Assay is the platform we've selected to use for the screening of these patients because in partnership with Thermo um, Fisher we've been able to adapt and modify the gene panel to cover those pathways we're currently interested in. And it also gives us the opportunity to develop a platform which can be used in multiple diagnostic labs across the country, whereas an assay we develop ourselves would have to be disseminated through another avenue. We have the opportunity, as I said, to access material to actually try and identify the molecular drivers of treatment failure across multiple cancer types. No individual funding agency or industry partner can do that alone, but if we can partner together, we can probably engage a wider spectrum of researchers, a wider resource base to enable us to actually accelerate developments so that the patients of tomorrow get improved care faster. And so our project is really to try to take these assays and kick their tires, so to speak. So really put them through their paces, make sure that they're performing the way that they're supposed to, and also make sure that across uh, multiple labs, uh, the same sample using this assay will give us the same results so that we can think about whether or not we can get these assays into the clinical setting. By reaching out to multiple labs, we get labs that handle things differently, that do things differently, that have different processes. We can engage with our pathologists, counterparts, we can engage with other clinicians and oncologists, we can engage with the private sector through Thermo Fisher, we can engage with the OICR. Um, all of those bring value to the table and I think underline the fact that this is a, an area of research that requires input from a lot of different sectors uh, in order to get it right. Uh, because it's one thing to measure a biomarker, it's quite another thing to understand what it means. The challenge is that you're going to try your assay, it's going to fail and that's it. You've got one shot at this and for the most part, um, when you're looking at at least some of these tumor samples, that is actually true. You've really got one shot at it. There's a challenge that the assay could fail and you get no information, but there's also a challenge that you could do an assay that gives you an answer about a particular biomarker, but then maybe a few months or a year later, another biomarker comes along and you've got nothing left to try it again. So it's not just the molecular lab that needs these samples, we have to share them with other laboratories as well, within the hospital setting at least. One of the advantages of being in Ontario is we're close to the Canadian Clinical Trials Group who will be the executors of any clinical trial that we partner with for this particular study. But also we have a network of diagnostic laboratories in a relatively small population base. We have about 10 million people in Ontario. So it, there's a collegiality and a, and a cooperative approach that we apply as we try to innovate in diagnostic areas which enables us to facilitate change much more rapidly. One of the challenges for any new diagnostic assay is actually getting from the lab to the clinic and actually ensuring that that can be done in a reproducible way and, and really that requires a commercial partnership of the kind we have now with Thermo Fisher. We have a very clear focus in this project at trying to improve uh, some of the uh, diagnostic and clinical information, molecular information about patient samples that can be used for patient care. There's a very clear line between us being able to do that and the partnership that we've developed with Thermo Fisher and the help that we've gotten from them and the willingness that they've shown actually to talk to us about the assay and to listen to us when we had concerns or questions or suggestions for how to change it. So that interchange between Thermo Fisher and our group has really, I think, enabled us to do the kind of work that we're hoping is going to be quite groundbreaking actually um, and it has also I'm hoping established a kind of a trust between us that is going to allow us to keep doing this in maybe more and more projects going forward. Whatever we learn from breast cancer trial we will have to test it on other cancer to see if it's applied to other tissues or other disease sites and that's a follow-up study, that's a natural study which one would do anyways. I think this, the study that we're doing will actually demonstrate a paradigm that could be applied across multiple uh, common cancers. We recognize that each of these cancers is really a collection of molecular diseases which have to be managed separately. And the more we understand about how the interaction between those patient cancer genomes and their treatments work, the more we can actually identify the next best step for targeting those cancers that are failing current treatments. And so I think as long as Thermo Fisher keeps on doing what it has been doing, which is reaching out, talking to people, getting information about uh, when you're on the ground and actually doing the work, what is it that is needed next? 
then I, I have a lot of hope that we're going to be able to get the panels that we need and that when the panels don't meet our needs, we're going to be able to go back easily and say, this isn't enough or this isn't right anymore, can you help us change it? And then we'll get that help. I'd say never forget that at the end of the day, what you're doing is going to impact patient care. Keep the quality and the academic excellence that you develop to get the platform this far up in the center of your mind and recognize that innovation is going to be continuous, that change is going to be a constant and that partnership is going to be the way you deliver success in this area.